what an adrenaline rush, Cape York, eh? <laughs> it's living up to its expectations, that's for sure. Welcome back. We made it to our next campsite, just outside of Fruit Bat Falls. Tried to get a camp a bit closer, but there was just too many vans and stuff there. So we found our own gravel pit here and we sort of made a bit of a tent city. Hopefully we've seen the worst of the corrugations. I really hope so, because that was gnarly today. We pulled over because there's a couple up there in a camper trailer where the wheels have literally fallen off. I mean, the corrugations are that bad like at any speed is just it's just violent they've actually made a road beside the road and even that has corrugations like as you can see here the corrugations are that deep they're probably 400 mil apart and 100 mil high and there's just massive rutted sections um, but we're sort of plotting along making sure everything's everything's right stopping every like 20 k's checking things over and um, just trying to take it e as easy as possible but this 100 k's of road is absolutely atrocious what a um, good way to put this setup through its paces so you're going to get a pretty comprehensive rig run down um, this morning we're going to go do the old tele track north side all the river crossings and um, waterfalls and stuff like that so today should be a good day should be a little bit less hectic on the forward driving side than the southern side was but how are you feeling Patsy? I feel much better this time because uh, Danny and Emma tell me that this track isn't as bad as the first one yeah we got through the first one so Danny fingers crossed this one's okay trust in Dan Danny and Emma oh, always complete trust in them so. <laughs> Whatever they say goes. But yeah, it should be a good day. A little bit of sunshine. But um Yeah, this is a cape and we're filthy. <laughs> We've just got through our first obstacle of the northern part of the tele track. This is Canal Creek. We've just got a little bit of a um, hard riverbed with some pretty deep holes in it. So we're just, all the boys are sort of figuring out a line and we're all walking it to see where we should go. crossing now we're just gonna go have a look at it sounds like a truck just went through and broke something or got bogged or something so we'll go see what's happening seems like the truck has some sort of fuel issue so we're just gonna wait until that one goes through uh, but it, there's two ways that we can come down this creek here the first way looks nice but it's probably a bit deep so we're gonna go down this way it's a bit rocky but we've got we've got the experience to guide us through and Brad's confident so we'll see how this one goes nice every like corner you turn around there's another little pool or a waterfall and we're like 20 kilometers away camping in red dirt dust bowl and then this and is just this. like right we're here we're literally camping in a gravel pit and then this is just down the road to be fair we couldn't get our caravans in here so 
No. <laughs> yeah. This is the next best, best option. Yeah, there's more down there. We're now making our way down to Mistake Creek, which we're trying not to turn into a mistake. Apparently it's pretty gnarly, so we'll go and have a look. To that hole, and then you're gonna come along, and then as, the, as that wheel comes up here, you start turning back over this way, and you're gonna bring it around and turn it, and turn it in here, and, bring your, and just do a big S, because that'll keep all your wheels on the ground a bit more, and then bring it around, and once, you come, once your wheel sort of gets to here, then we sort of just go dead straight and just go straight down the hill. Yeah. It won't be lift, it'll be lifty on that wood. Why are you pulling my shoes up? Is that funny? Yeah, so what they're doing is just going in there, reverse, uh, sorry, in up to there, reversing into there and then driving down. Hey babe, where are we? Cascade Creek. Cascade Creek, time for a bit of lunch. It's never just easy in and out. You just got this big hump, walking it up the banks. Anyone would think that I'm talking like a professional four wheel driver. Been four wheel driving for two days. Oh, we gotta stop for lunch anyway, so. Have a nice swim in here, why not? Yeah, you look like, um, show us. Maybe I'm just thinking shitting myself oh. on this track, so. <laughs> well, I'm not that shit of a driver. <laughs>
everybody. I'll just check in the structural stability, yeah. It's up to code. I bloody hope so. place was just a bit of a curveball and um, we've pretty much all made it through I think we've got one more to go uh, but we're losing daylight so we sort of got to hurry this process along because we haven't got to the deepest crossing yet which is Nolan's which isn't too far away but it's been pretty slow going so far uh, but that was a pretty gnarly one I haven't been in water that deep before I almost thought I had to put up my windows because it was about to come in there but um, you go from one extreme to the other like you've got this mud pit over here and then you've got this beautiful Kind of water here. What an adrenaline rush, Cape York, eh? It's living up to its expectations, that's for sure. All right, hopefully we we'll catch up with you at Nolan's, and there's still daylight. We've made it to hopefully the last obstacle, um, Nolan Creek, and it is pretty notorious for being deep and long. Um, we're about to go walk it, and apparently we've got an audience, which always makes it worse. <laughs> So I'm gonna put the big fluffy camera away and I'm gonna film on this little one. So um, Yeah, hopefully this isn't too bad and we can hit the drive through on the way home doll. Oh wait, there's no driveway <laughs> drive through. So, yeah, chicken noodles again. <laughs> So everyone got through all right. We ha did have to get a snatch trap out because once the two rams come through, um, they churned up their bottom at Nolan's pretty bad, um, which meant when Keelan went through, 
his car just stopped dead. It was just sand like up to your knees, just soft sand. So that stopped dead. So they had to hook that up and then everyone else, to, else had to drive through on a different line. Um, but we all made it through. Um, both the Prados though seem to be a little bit upset. The white one of Mark's, um, it's got a fault code and won't get out of low range. And Keelan's uh, is, has just died. It just clonked out. So there's something wrong with the computer or something I'd say, but just heaps of water. Keelan was sitting in the water for quite a while. So um, that do doesn't do anything good, but hey babe, you just did the old telegraph track. We just saying, did the old hey, telegraph track. You did it, you drove it. I just oh, didn't do much. That mate. is a like, yeah, so that was insane. I don't even know where to start. Like, I've watched that so many times. People, all le these legends doing the old telegraph track in Cape York, and like, we're t using we're this so to tow. <laughs> we're using this to tow our home around. We thought, oh, we poke our head in and have a look, and we end up driving the whole thing. Just goes to show how tough of a, our vehicle this old Land Cruiser is. People write them off, but they are it did it easy mate it, it, i wouldn't say it did it easy i'd say we also had some really good help along wouldn't the way have been able to do it without there's the no way we would have attempted it but um and to do it and finish at nolan's here um yeah incredible i'm lost for touch wood no damage we don't think <laughs> yeah no everything seems to be um a-okay -okay. so we've got a pretty good punch back to our campsite back along the beautiful scenic <laughs> what is it peninsula development road We're not quite done yet coming out of Nolan's Creek. Keelan's fixed his car. And um, we've got this massive bog hole with a steep ascent. Yeah, buddy. Diffed out. Diffed out, bro. All right, now in the moment, this was all getting pretty crazy. So we didn't actually film anything we sort of just put the cameras down and tried to focus on getting out of Nolan's um, we got a call over the radio some guys that were camped at Nolan's said hey guys there's an easier way out you got to come through the campsites here so we backtracked and um, as we we're going out we got a call over the radio um, saying that Danny had fallen off like a, a, a ledge and um, his patrol was like up on three wheels so immediately like myself Keelan Aaron and Mark like ran to help uh, myself and Derek were hanging off the side of the patrol trying to keep it balanced while um, Aaron and Mark and Keelan were tr pulling the winch out to hook it up to the back to pull him out. So there was just a ledge um, and he just dropped his front wheel off it in the dark. You just couldn't see it. Um, so they just took the winch up to the back and, and pulled him out. And at that point, everyone put their cameras away and um, we made the long trek back to the gravel pit. And I think safe to say we were all very happy to see that gravel pit that night. It was a very long day. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for next week's episode, which will be the last one on the Cape where we hit the tip and um, show you around some falls and um, some of the Northern area, the peninsula. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.